Hello beautiful people, I'm Polly from Charming Tavi. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make beautiful gouache tags. Um, I've already prepared my things. Uh, I used... Uh, oops! I used pencils to uh, paint this beautiful pumpkin and those beautiful... Let me just show you. And those beautiful mushrooms, little mushrooms. I just before this I stamped them, then I covered them and of course I cut them out and uh, I put this beautiful um, distress glaze so the color could be vivid. Uh, also I prepared my tags uh, and I use for those tags as you can see uh, upcycle cardboard and of course leftover papers um, that I had in my stashes, in my stash, I'm sorry. Um, also, I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful covers of those um, autumn leaves. Uh, let me show you. They look very beautiful. Um, that's why I used two blank, the little one, and this one. Uh, I use die cut. Uh, die, metal die cuts uh, so I cut them out and I'm going to show you how I made those beautiful covers but uh, first I have to go and use my sewing machine uh, to sew those uh, tags because uh, I have in mind uh, not to glue them to sew them so I'll be back after minutes Okay, I'm back. Uh, I already used my sewing machine. This is the result. So, um, let me show you how I made. Um, just let me take my first uh, my chair because I move it. Okay. Uh, just let me show you how I made those beautiful covers. Uh, going to use little because it is only one. I hope that it will dry faster because I want to use it. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, then I'm going to show you how I made this one. Just little drops because I don't want to be very strong. There it is. If you don't have distress paint and distress things, you can use uh, pencils uh, or other covers that you have. I just have them that is why I'm I decided to use them. You can use water covers also. It's going to have it's going to be beautiful with water covers. Let me see and I'm going to stamp it. But let me see what is the correct direction of this stump. I think it's this one. Okay, that's it. 
I stamp it. Let me just remove and I hope that it will dry. There it is. Uh, I hope that they will dry fast because I want to use them. Uh, let me just take one napkin to remove the stain from my surface. Okay. Uh, and um, in the end, you can use this distress lace if you don't have it. Of course, you don't need to use it. I just uh, like how the colors pop. Probably I'm going to rip it if I put, so I will be very, very gently. Okay, like this. I hope it will dry and I've prepared some hmm, let me just take it stencils that I would like to use also this one here those three stencils are my favorites
I think that like that look very beautiful and I, I will try to put some red Looks very beautiful. Okay, I'll remove let me just remove the stencils. Unfortunately my hands become very dirty. Uh, I've already I forgot to say that I uh, prepared paper clips. Uh, in other video I'm going to show you how I made these uh, paper clips they look very beautiful uh, as you can see because I used um, rust paint and I like the way they look they look very vintage okay my tacks are ready so I'm going to prepare um, first, I want to use some decoration. Something like this. Okay. Let me remove those. Oh, and those beautiful red. Just see how it will happen. Probably. I'm going to put it. Okay. And some lace. This lace is from Unfulfilled Project. <laughs> Uh, so I decided to recycle it because it's very vintage lace. I mean, it looks vintage, it's not vintage, but I like the color. I would like to take a bigger one. going to use to cover it a bit Next, mm, I'm going to use the leaves.
and wow okay this one which is still wet and I'll be very gentle will be here and I'll see where I'll put those there are six so I will divide them equally oh like that uh, looks beautiful and just let me this one here this one will be here like this mm. it's going to be like this here okay and probably this little mushroom somewhere oh well this side where okay let me make the first tag and I want to use those beautiful but okay put this one here no the smaller one okay I'm putting glue only on the parts here because I don't want them to glue I don't want to glue them I want to make something like three dimensional something like this they could easily pop up as you can see here so this is the reason why I don't want to use so much um, glue okay 
Let me use my napkin. Oh, no, 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 no. This one shouldn't go there. Should be here. I forgot. Okay. Only in the middle again. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, shall I use this one hole or no? Okay. I have to use more amount of this. fabric. Actually this fabric is one of my favorites. I have used it in many projects and a lot of junk journals. So when I have leftover, leftovers I don't want to throw them away. Should I put it hmm. somewhere here probably? Okay, it's going to look good there. And I'm going to glue this mushroom here. Why? Because I think it's going to be better. Let me just check it out. That. Or like this. More like this. Okay like this okay or like this no like that but i'm uh, waiting my heat gun to uh get a little bit warm let me start with this Please subscribe and give a thumbs up because it will help my channel to develop. One more time, let me just show you. They look very beautiful. Uh, and so hope I will see you in my next video. Bye bye guys!